like other states there are cottage industries as well as heavy industries in west bengal the artisans with the help of various tools and skills are working in different disciplines of this spread out industry they ply their trade either at their home or accepting the patronage of the village cooperatives the government has also extended a helping hand to patronize the artisans one such mentionable step is handicrafts fair every year this fair is being organized in kolkata the capital of west bengal with the financial help from the state government a Another big attraction of the fair is the pavilion where the master craftsmen of Bengal make different items of art and craft sitting here only a reverberating sound a cannon call it seems to be a horn does it proclaim the start of a royal court let's take a look this is a horn the horn of a buffalo Artisans can make a number of things out of horn. Different types of toys, combs, household articles are made out of it. Beginning from day-to-day -day commodity to decoration items, a wide range of craft items are made from this horn. Let's try to find out the origin of this handicraft. We are now at Midnapur after a 2 hour journey from kolkata our destination is bishnop chok donga bhanga where the horn craft of bengal first started at first we'd like to visit the bishnop chok bishan shilpo samubaya samiti or bishnop chok horn craft cooperative society mr gourhori bera is the founder of the horn craft cooperative society which was built in 1956 A well-known merchant of this locality let us know about the differentiation of the raw materials of this craft. Horn craft is as old as 40 years in our area. The main problem we face is of raw material. The supply is very much irregular. There is a good demand of this horn craft in foreign countries. How are these made? First, the hollow part of the horn is heated. Next, it is made flat with the help of a pressing machine after that designs are made on the horn with a piece of chalk then the desired form is given to the horn at last it is polished the horn then shines and looks beautiful in this way the original horn turns into an art object of a special dimension by the magic touch of the artisan that the demand of horn craft is quite inspiring their demand is greater than our supply the high price of raw materials are troubling the artisans constantly if our government takes care of it or allows grant to our cooperatives the whole scenario may improve and the craft items may be exported in a great quantity with the help of our government Experimental workshop cum research center has been built to help the artisans to learn better at Barwipur the efficient artisans are also rewarded by the government the demand of this craft is quite encouraging it is our duty to provide oxygen to this craft so that this old folk craft of bengal may breathe freely and happily